We are here with another Teacher of the Year profile. Right now we're speaking with Gail Winnie, who is one of two Teachers of the Year for the San Juan Unified School District. Gail, thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us uh, where you teach and, and what you teach. Um, my name is Gail Winnie, and I'm the music teacher at Howe Avenue Elementary in Sacramento, California. And I am the general music teacher there where I teach 600 children and I teach 32 general music classes per week and either teach or assist in six different ensembles. Wow, that's a, first of all, that's a lot of numbers. Uh, <laughs> yes. 600 students, obviously yes. not all at once, because uh, that would be really loud. But yeah. so, and there are different levels, I guess, of, of expertise uh, for your students too. Yes, so I have first through fifth grade uh, during the instructional day, and those classes are 40 minutes in length. And then outside of the instructional day, I have uh, band, choir, violin, percussion, and I have building oral language through music, which is something for our newcomer students who are new to the United States. Tell us a little about that, the building oral language through music. What is that about? That sounds relatively new. Yeah, it is. It is new. And I developed it out of a need that my students had. I was uh, teaching percussion in the regular classroom one day and I noticed that there was a child in my class that wasn't in my class because he was much bigger than the second graders that I was teaching at that time mm -hmm. and uh, we figured out that he just wanted to come back to music class instead of going back to his other class because mm -hmm. he knew a little bit about the drum but didn't have much language yet. He was a new student. He was new from uh, Afghanistan and he, he knew a little bit about percussion. Um, so that inspired me, after that experience, inspired me to, to create a separate class for students who are new, newly acquiring language to where they can develop language skills and music skills at the same time. And so how does that work? Because uh, um, you know, you're, you're learning a new language when you're learning music. Mm -hmm. So how do you, tell me about the similarities between the two. Well, the simil it's the same process that you go through, basically, in acquiring a language as when you are acquiring the language of music. And so how does the learning of the music help students with acquiring the language? Well, music has some very specific oral training and students learn how to listen for things specifically and this helps them when they're listening to learn their new language. So you teach very young people how to, to play instruments. Yes. So uh, I can imagine the noise level in your classroom. Yes. And I, would, I guess it's unfair to call it noise. It's, it's a sound level. Um, so it must be really gratifying to see them go from day one to the end of the school year. Very much so. I teach in all of my classes, I teach my classes like an ensemble. So each class becomes its own special performing group. And I'll teach in units. I'll teach a unit of piano for five or six weeks, uh, percussion. Um, third, fourth, and fifth grade, we have recorder um, and have a partnership with Carnegie Hall and the Sacramento Philharmonic. Um, we use their, their link up program and I teach recorder to about 350 kids and uh, at the end of the year we all get on five buses and go and play our recorders with the Sacramento Philharmonic. Wow, that must be quite an experience for the kids. It, it is, yeah. it is. So in teaching music, um, there's a lot to it. Um, would you say the main thing is discipline? Is that, or is that a big part of it? Or <sighs> what's, what, what would you say is the biggest factor in learning music? Is it the appreciation? Is it the discipline? I think that it's a balance. Mm -hmm. um, it's a balance of, of the things that we learn. It's a balance of ear training. It's a balance of, of singing, a balance of theory, harmony, history. It's, it's a little bit of everything. So if you were to take a music major college course list and look at those different courses, that's what I do in elementary school, 
um, at the appropriate age level is to teach them those, those different things, ear training, sight, singing. Um, I teach them um, solfege, singing in syllables. Um, so not many elementary schools have a music program. Not this extensive, no. Uh, that's what I was going to yeah. say. I mean, you, you touch all grade levels, all, all students. Yes. All, well, I would say is 600 students all students? Pretty much. Uh, except for preschool. Okay. But even in May, I invite preschool over so that they can develop an interest and know that they're going to be coming to my classroom. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's the biggest payoff or the biggest value for students in learning music? And now they're not all going to grow up to be musicians, no. but what, what, what do they gain? I think that for them to be uh, productive and cooperative in society, that the skills that they use to play in an ensemble is going to help them later in life. So we have to get along with everyone. When you play in an ensemble, you have to care about other people. So you want to do your best not only for yourself, but you want to do your best for your group. So it's life skills through music. Yes. Oh. So a big part of education is professional development. What kind of professional development is, is available for music teachers? What kinds of things are you able to do? Well. Um, one thing that I've participated in this year um, was the Carnegie Hall link up and I've been able to go to New York uh, and participate as a teacher uh, learning uh, methodology of playing recorder and learning from some great educators like Eric Booth who's the leader, I think, in arts education, mm -hmm. that's available to us. And then on the other end of it, I've been part of their professional development too. I was fortunate to be able to present for them in the Link Up California. I was their guest presenter. And, and um, I was able to take many of the things that they taught me and share them with other orchestras and teachers uh, from California. Explain the value in professional development. I mean, what does that mean to you? Oh, it means that I'm going to be current in thought as far as methodologies and, and current teaching practices. And it also means that I'm going to be connected to other individuals. So I'm going to be collaborating with other teachers, other arts organizations, uh, maybe other districts, and also uh, building those relationships and learning at the same time so that we can share our knowledge, not just keep it to ourselves. <laughs> You're not just holding on to it. So you've got you know, uh, students of, of various ranges of ability. Um, how do you motivate those students that you know are a little frustrated because it might not be as easy for them as it is for some other students? How do you encourage them? What do you do? Well, I think that my relationship with them is the most important, um, that I'm a champion for them, and that, that I bring the best out of them, I, and I make them feel safe, and I make them feel happy uh, about being at school and about being able to participate in music. Uh, as far as academics go, the academics of music, I do things to where I can differentiate instruction for them um, to make sure that those who need extra help can get it uh, outside of their specific classroom time. So I have times during lunch where kids can come by depending on uh, whether there's a day for percussion, there's a day for piano, there's a day for recorder. Um, they can just come by and check in uh, anytime and just say, hey, I need some help with this. Mm -hmm. And the performances at, at the end of the year must be uh, really emotional for you when you see what they've been able to accomplish. Yes, mm -hmm. it, it is. I think my favorite one uh, is to see the, the ensemble of children um, who are newcomers mm -hmm. 
mm. to the country. My, my kids from Afghanistan and in and, and Yemen and Oman and, and Iran and Iraq and Tanzania. I have students from wow. Tanzania. So I have this group and, and we learn choral pieces and we learn percussion pieces and perform at the end of the year and parents bring food and it's a big celebration of learning. And that's, that's definitely the most emotional part for me is to, to see how much they've grown and to see their successes and to see them become more confident in their new country. Oh, well, and I'm sure they're very proud of you and, and congratulations on being named Teacher of the Year for the San Juan Unified School District, one of two teachers. We've been speaking with Gail Winnie. Congratulations. Thank you.